Whether it's owning your own business or doing what you love as a career, everyone's idea of achieving success comes in many different forms. The experiences of hardships and the sacrifice differ as well, but the end results for all remains the same, to achieve a better life than what they left. So it's important for immigrants uh, when they come to the United States to find like-minded folks that are used to the same cultural aspects that they were used to back in their motherlands. This allows them the opportunity to not just feel comfortable, but to also have a transition of people that have already learned the curve and to help them become more settled quickly here. The idea of belonging to a group is a very primitive and basic instinct of man. Strength in numbers was the idea for those people who came together with common cultures to create strong bonds and unions to help advance each individual's dream with the foundation of achieving a better life than what they had left. If you look at what makes a business successful, particularly when that business is an entrepreneur starting for the first time, almost always there's some sort of network in place that allows them to understand what they need to do, who they need to speak with, how they bring all this together. So when you bring that network from another country, and you begin an association, it really provides the backbone that allows those entrepreneurs to be successful. Because on their own, it's gonna be very difficult in a new land with a new opportunity and not really knowing how the system works. But if you can provide an association that kind of forms the backbone to allow them to be successful, then you're going to see a lot more people become very interested in that association. And I think that's really what we see all across the country in all sorts of communities. Since 1989, the Asian American Hotel Owners Association has been representing Asian American hotel owners and preserving a strong voice in the hospitality industry through the numbers they represent. AHOA members currently represent almost one out of every two hotels in the United States. The future is bright for this organization as major brands state that 50% of new developmental projects are represented by AHOA members. Once the owners of small roadside motels, AHOA members now own and operate some of the largest and most prestigious properties in the United States. Currently today we have 14,000 members all across the 50 United States of America and we really are the American dream. Our members have really worked hard and hospitality was just a good fit uh, from where they originated from in India. Um, in India they lived in small communities, small villages that were all about reputation, honesty, integrity and knowing how to treat people like family. And so they brought that concept over here and one of the businesses they got into initially was hotels. Hotels was an easy fit because hospitality was already in their blood and the skill set that they brought with them from the motherland. We've been able to grow over the last 25 years to a substantial amount of influence in the lodging sector uh, from being a minority on the ownership side to now being a majority. They want to create the jobs in communities and neighborhoods where they feel like they're at home. And so not only do they become a good small business in the areas, but they also become a good community participants uh, where they're at. Education is a crucial ingredient for AHOA's recipe to success. The organization's foundation lies on the idea that every member, from single property owner to major real estate holder, must be able to attain knowledge on financial planning, taxation, basic hospitality, employee management, purchasing, training, and technology implementation. AHOA provides each of its members a roadmap to achieving their own dreams. Education is critically important for our owners. And it doesn't really matter if you're a hotel owner or any business, you always want to employ the best practices. So for our owners, when we can find ways to help them become better owners, they ultimately provide better services. And when the customer's happy, they're going to make more money as the owner, they're going to be able to expand their business and hire more people. So they're looking at it as an opportunity to find out what are the best practices, what are the latest technologies, what can I do better to make my business more efficient and ultimately provide a better service for our guests. The mission, and my mission particularly, being involved in Jehovah is to really help those that can't speak for themselves and those of that have worked hard uh, over the past 20, 30, 40 years, including my first generation folks, uh, to protect their American dream. They put in countless number of hours and sweat equity into projects, and they really care about the people that they surround themselves with, whether it's our employees or our customers. And that's a value that we can't lose um, throughout time. And it's easy to lose it, it's easy to lose focus, but we need to make sure that focus remains consistent and constant on those guys that are creating the jobs. What we offer hotel owners everywhere, regardless if you're Asian American or not, is the opportunity to get world-class education for the hospitality industry. Learn about the cutting edge technologies that are gonna help you deliver a better product at a lower price and the advocacy 
we're really the only association anywhere that stands up for hotel owners. So whether it's your local government, your city council, your state government, or even in Washington, D.C., there's nobody except a HOA that's going to stand up for you when people try to do things that could potentially damage your business. So that's what we've offered owners. That's why we've grown so fast, and we're going to continue to do that in an even bigger and stronger way. To learn more about how AHOA can help you achieve your dreams, visit ahoa.com.